Boys and girls, want to welcome you to another children's devotional hosted by the International Prayer House Ministries. This week, we would be looking at the Bible story, John Baptizes Jesus. And our scripture verse is taken from Matthew chapter 3 and verse 17. And it says, A voice from heaven said, This is my Son, in whom I love in him I am well pleased. Boys and girls, can you imagine Jesus who had never sinned asking John to baptize him? John couldn't imagine this either. Now who was John? John the Baptist was a messenger God had promised. John was the cousin of Jesus. His mother's name was Elizabeth. From the time John was born, God focused attention upon him so that people would take notice and listen to what he had to say. God was always with John. He preached the gospel. His message was quite simple. Repent of your sins to get right with God so you can be ready for the coming of the Messiah. Crowds would gather to listen to John. They were convinced by what he had preached and as an outward display of their change, John would baptize them. As a result of this action, John the prophet became known as John the Baptist. Later on in Matthew, John the Baptist was beheaded because he faithfully taught the truth. One day, Jesus came and asked John to baptize him. John was confused at first. Baptism was is meant to wash away sins, and he knew the Son of God had no sins to wash away. John felt he should be baptized by Jesus and not the other way around. When Jesus explained that he was doing this as an example for others, John immediately baptized him. After Jesus comes up from the water, a voice from heaven says, This is my son in whom I am well pleased. Then the Holy Spirit in the visible form of a dove descended from heaven and rested on him. So boys and girls, what can we take away from this Bible story? One, prepare our hearts for the coming of Jesus. How can we do this? Ask God to forgive us of our sins. Two, always remain faithful to the responsibilities to which God calls us to do. John remained faithful to the end. Three, Repentance is the key to a godly life. We saw how John the Baptist preaching about the coming of the Messiah. People repented. To repent means that you turn away from your sin and follow God. Three, baptism is an act of God. It's God's declaration that we are his. The water symbolizes the washing away of our sins in God's forgiveness. Your old self and self is gone and you have new life in Jesus Christ. John had an important job to do. His job was to prepare the way for Jesus to come. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for sending John the Baptist to teach us how to prepare our hearts for Jesus and thank you for sending your only son to live a perfect life and die the death that we deserve so we could be forgiven. Help us to confess and repent of our sins and turn to you in Jesus name. Amen. So boys and girls, that's it for another children's devotional. Hope you tune in next week.